Good evening. Hundreds of workers have lost their jobs after the collapse of a long-standing building maintenance contractor in Staffordshire. George Birchall's service in Chesterton near Newcastle under Lyme has now appointed administrators due to severe cash flow pressures. Well, our reporter Lewis Warner has spent the afternoon there. And Lewis, awful news for the local area. What more can you tell us? Yeah, Hannah, it uh, really is awful news for the area. We now understand up to 400 workers have lost their jobs. Of course, it's important to remember that's not just a statistic. That's now 400 people who don't have an income. And, of course, that'll affect the livelihoods of many of their families too. Uh, now, the George Birchall Services Centre behind me uh, supplied uh, public and public and private sector contractors uh, with building maintenance services such as gas, electric and air conditioning. Now on a normal day these vans will be out uh, servicing clients but all of that was brought to an end on Friday when employees were sent home without pay after being told about severe cash flow pressures. After unsuccessful attempts to sell the business the administrators were then called in and people we've spoken to in the area were shocked and saddened at the news. I feel really sorry for them because it's living today and you're losing your jobs it's just devastating so yeah i feel sorry for them it's just another one goes by the wayside we're losing coal steel everything pops and now another well-established company goes under it's very sad and lewis what are those who are now in charge the administrators uh, said about this um, well, they've uh, made a statement today. It's also worth pointing out, though, Bob, that this move comes six months after the company's me mechanical and electrical division also collapsed, costing 141 jobs. Uh, today, of course, uh, Stephen Stokes, partner at the FRP advisory in Birmingham, said every attempt had been made by directors to secure a more positive outcome for all concerned. However, when it came apparent in recent days that a sale of the business could not be achieved, the extremely difficult decision was made to place that company uh, into administration. Now, uh, some uh, members uh, of, of the uh, company here are remaining in work over the next few days to try and uh, wind down the company. And others, there are hopes that some of the clients uh, will go forward to other contractors in the area and there may be some jobs there. But of course, that is a little hope for the uh, 400 people who are tonight without work. Indeed so. Uh, Lewis, thanks very much.